The ships were designed to hold about 200 slaves, but then they could load about 700 slaves. That is why in school we're told that the enslaved Africans were packed like sardines. Now looking through, looking back, there is another inscription on, on the door that counterattacks, door of no return. Yeah, this one reads, door of return. The very first time we had this inscription, you can get closer, please. Was in August 1998. There was a festival called the Emancipation Day where two bonds of Africans were exhumed from their graves. One from New York, Samuel Cass, and the other from Jamaica, Madame Christa. These bonds are brought back to Africa through the same route to the sea, to this very castle, through the same door then to the courtyard, where African traditional funeral was held for them. After that, these bones were reburied at a certain mansion, okay, because that was the marketplace for the slaves. Bringing these bones back to Africa stood for the return of every enslaved African. It was done to close that gap between those in Africa and those in the diaspora, pointing out that anybody who was taken from here now has the chance to come back home. So we got door of return. The original door was so small that both the slaves and the masters could not go through it. The masters were superhuman beings. They needed a special passage. Therefore, those golden stairs used by the masters in and out of their rooms while the enslaved Africans went through the small door. Any submissions? So you're saying the psychology Manipulation started here. They could break it. Were these stories just told through oration, like orators sharing the stories and they were passed along? And recently, that we had that. In the past, we're not even allowed to talk about that because of the pain. Okay, but we know that pain is not always a bad thing, it's a good thing. So now we are talking about these stories and I think it's good. Even before it was not being taught in school because the Europeans were writing our books for us. So we know the slave trade existed, but now the intricacies of the story. For the last time over, I look at the various boats over there. What do you see? What do you see? Whatever you see, 